The owners of small family-run shops across Wales are urging the government to reject calls to sell cigarettes in plain packaging. They say their businesses and the jobs they create are already under pressure because of tobacco smuggling and cross-border shopping. Well, today the Tobacco Retailers Alliance, which is funded by cigarette makers, released the results of a UK-wide survey of more than a thousand traders. Results from Wales showed 12% of shops here are considering shutting down because of the pressures. And 33% of businesses, that's one in three shops, are looking at cutting staff as a result. Of course, with more and more people giving up smoking because of health concerns, the pressure on the small businesses is worse than ever, as Dean Thomas now explains. No smoke without fire. This may look like a legitimate shipment of cigarettes, but in fact, it's illegal tobacco smuggled to our shores. There we are. Anything else? No, nothing else. Too. Right. I'll be 45 pence then, please. The trade of illegal cigarettes is having a damaging effect on legitimate traders like Dev in Swansea. He's concerned that his store could close due to criminals undercutting his prices, selling tobacco on our streets. If one third of our business is tobacco related and that reduces, it affects the viability of independent retailers staying in business. And once that viability is affected, it affects everything else. It affects newspaper rounds, it affects uh, the services that an independent retailer offers to the elderly, the vulnerable, um, and basically changes, changes society completely. The smuggling of tobacco into Wales is a growing problem. Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs officers seized 67,000 illicit cigarettes and 92 kilos of tobacco from Newport Docks last week. Also, recent government plans to introduce plain packaging for tobacco has been criticised. Today's poll by the Tobacco Retailers Alliance found that 86% of serving police officers in the UK said plain packaging would increase tobacco smuggling. Although some say the problem will only be tackled if smokers change their habits. I think there's illicit tobacco in Wales simply because there's a, a demand for it. People are tempted to buy cheap cigarettes and cheap tobacco. But what people don't realise is that the money that they hand over for these things, uh, that money finds its way into the pockets of organised crime gangs uh, to fund other crime, further crime. The warnings are clear. A cheap cigarette could do more than just damage your health. Dean Thomas, Wales Tonight.